Welcome to the eBallot Quick Start Guide. In today's tutorial, we'll show you how to navigate your dashboard and you'll learn the basic steps of ballot setup and activation so that you can set up your ballot correctly, get notifications out to your voters, and ensure a successful voting event. Let's get started! First, log into your eBallot account, enter your username and password, and click Login. The first page you'll see is your dashboard. Consider this your administrator election hub. This is where you build, launch, and manage all of your ballots, as well as access past ballots and information. Keep in mind, only approved administrators will have access to your admin account. Also, your voters will never see this account. Once your election goes live, voters will log into their own separate voting portal using the voter URL, which you'll send to them via email, for example. If you need assistance from our support team, you'll find a chat icon on the right side of your screen. To begin a support conversation, click that chat icon. If there are no ballots to display on your dashboard, this means you haven't created or activated any yet. Once you start building your first ballot, it will appear on your dashboard as under construction. Any live ballots will appear as active ballots, and any closed ballots will appear as completed or archived. You can access individual ballot reports from the dashboard by clicking the graph icon view open and close times, and see the total voters on your ballot. Next up, let's walk through how to set up your ballot. For the purposes of this tutorial, we'll only be walking through the ballot's most prominent features. The interface you'll be seeing today is the Premium account, which will include all of the features found in Pro. Click the Create Ballot button on your dashboard. We've already started one, so you can get a better idea of what to expect. From here, you can customize your basic ballot settings, Enter a title. We've entered SDA Event Planning Committee. Choose between a nomination or voting ballot and select your open and close times. To view the results in real time, set date when results are available to be the same as your ballot open date. Control the anonymity of your ballot by choosing anonymous or not anonymous. An anonymous ballot means you will not be able to view the specific choice a voter made. To keep your voters' actions private, select anonymous voting. Just a quick note, you can adjust your main ballot settings at any point during the setup process. Feel free to go back and edit your questions and choices, or fill out any information you left blank. To add a question, select the Questions tab on your ballot. Then click Add New Question. Enter the text for your question, and choose the general question settings. These include weighted or filtered voting, if applicable, response requirements, and question instructions. Once you save your question, you can add choices or candidates. Choose between a simple choice, candidate, write-in vote, or let your voters abstain from answering. A simple choice adds a single line of text as a ballot choice. This is ideal for candidate names, brief statements or sentences, or a simple yes-no voting option. A candidate allows you to upload a corresponding photo and profile text. This is ideal for extended candidate biographies or statements and it allows you to link any externally hosted documents or websites. All questions will appear on your ballot, and you can edit them anytime while your ballot is under construction. Drag and drop your questions to determine the order in which they will appear within your ballot. You can use the same functionality for corresponding choices or candidates associated with each question. To add voters, select the Voters option from the menu. You can add entire voter lists instantly by using our convenient template or by uploading a .csv file of your own. If you want to use our template, simply download the .csv file. We've already downloaded this template, so you can take a look. Fill out the fields as necessary. You can leave the access code column blank as our system will generate a one-time use access code for your voters. Save your updated file and upload it to your ballot. Your voter list should appear within the Voters tab section of your account. If you'd rather add voters individually to your ballot, you can do that as well. You will have to choose a username and access code for your voter. Once your voters have been added successfully to your account, navigate to the Voter tab of your ballot. Click Import Voters to add all voters from another ballot or add names individually by entering their criteria in the field shown. 
Emails are useful for notifying and reminding voters of an upcoming election. You will have one complimentary campaign included per ballot. To get started, click Create Campaign. Build your message announcing your ballot and add important details including the deadline to vote, support information, and more. Use data merge tools within the email platform to send custom emails tailored to each voter. Merge in specific voter information including the ballot URL, username, and password. Send your email immediately or schedule it to be delivered at a later date. To send additional reminders, you can purchase additional email campaigns from right within your account by clicking on Store in the main navigation menu and selecting Buy Emails. From here, you can select the ballot where you'd like to add the additional email campaigns. Before you activate, be sure to test your ballot by clicking Test Ballot in the status bar. You will then see 10 test voter credentials, which you can use to log into your ballot as a voter and ensure your ballot is set up properly. These 10 test voters will expire once they're used. Once you've tested your ballot, deactivate test mode by selecting the option in the status bar. When you're ready to continue, make sure you've ticked all of your boxes by clicking the checklist option in the status bar. This will show any outstanding items that need to be addressed before activation. It also gives a quick overview of your ballot settings. If there are no items in red, you're clear to continue. Activate your ballot by clicking the Activate Your Ballot option in the status bar. Congratulations, your ballot is now live. Keep in mind, even though your ballot is activated, your voters won't be able to access it until the date and time you chose in your ballot settings. Be sure to check back once voting begins to access your results. On Ballot Open Day, your voters can access their ballot information through their voter URL, found at the top of your dashboard. However, your voters should already have been provided this URL and their login information via the email campaign you sent earlier. They will log into their voter portal using the username and access code provided to them. Voters will then be prompted to choose a password of their own. Voters can make their selections, review their choices, and cast their vote. Thanks for watching!